Dad, I get that neurons fire signals, but how does that signal actually jump from one neuron to the next? Great question, Steve. Neurons communicate across gaps called synaptic clefts. They don't directly touch. Instead of electricity, they use neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers. So the electrical signal turns into a chemical one? Exactly. When an action potential reaches the end of a neuron, it opens calcium channels. That calcium triggers vesicles to release neurotransmitters like dopamine or glutamate into the synapse. You might mention the timing, Stan. The vesicle fusion happens in milliseconds. Precision here is the difference between clarity and chaos. Wait, so the chemicals just float across the gap? Pretty much. They drift to the next neuron and bind to receptors, kind of like keys fitting into locks. That can open ion channels and change the membrane voltage. Some receptors are ionotropic, fast, and direct. Others are metabotropic, slower, but they trigger signal cascades inside the cell. Think of them as a series of chemical dominoes. So one changes voltage and the other changes chemistry? Exactly. That's how the brain manages speed versus nuance. Also worth noting, neurotransmitter imbalance is linked to disorders. Too little dopamine, Parkinson's, too much glutamate, risk of excitotoxicity, the chemistry matters. Okay, so after the signal's passed, what happens to the leftover neurotransmitters? They get cleaned up through reuptake or enzymatic breakdown. If they didn't, your brain would be stuck repeating the same signal over and over. So my entire personality is just a cocktail of chemicals crossing gaps. That's one way to put it. Brains are fast, fragile, and fantastically weird. And surprisingly inefficient, but elegant in a messy biological way.